Each February, we take a moment to pause and reflect with our project partners. We celebrate last year's accomplishments and review this year's plan of action for the Appomattox River Trail and Park System. Today, we will be reviewing our accomplishments as they relate to the Appomattox River Trail Master Plan that was completed in 2017. This plan can be found on our website. It was adopted by the counties of Chesterfield, Dinwiddie, and Prince George in the cities of Colonial Heights, Hopewell, and Petersburg, and supported by many stakeholders. This plan guides not only the route and the design of the trail itself, but also includes a sign plan for consistent signage along the entire 25-mile route. We all agree that protecting and enhancing the river will improve our community. It will bolster our mental and physical health, support wildlife and habitat, and will attract economic development to our region. Building a trail and park system takes so much more than just sweat equity, and I wanted to share a few major milestones from the year with you before we start our journey along the river. First, we received our largest grant to date, a million dollar grant from the Cameron Foundation. And we have been entrusted with our largest challenge grant yet, a $500,000 challenge grant from the Campbell Foundation. We will talk more about what these grants will accomplish a little bit later. After receiving those milestone grants, we knew we needed to grow our team. So we were excited to hire Kiffy Workheiser as our first development director. I hope you get a chance to meet Kiffy soon. And finally, we launched a new website for FOLAR, including an interactive, mobile-friendly map and a merch store. Check out all the new items you can purchase to show your support for FOLAR and the trail. So now, let's go to the river. Remember that million dollar grant in the $500,000 challenge grant I mentioned earlier? Well, that is going to transform the western entrance of the Appomattox River Trail. And right now, I'm at the John J. Radcliffe Conservation Area, the westernmost park of our system. And behind me is the historic Abutment Dam and the location for a brand new bicycle pedestrian bridge that will connect from Chesterfield County across the river to Dinwiddie County and Ferndale Park. Folar, in partnership with the Cameron Foundation and partner localities, are going to hold a design competition in 2022 to seek a unique design for this bridge. Please be sure to follow us on social media or sign up for our newsletter to follow the process. Let's take a look at another park that is part of transforming the western entrance. Updating Ferndale Park in Dinwiddie County and improving two miles of trail along the river and canal is also part of that project. We are in the process of creating a master plan for the park thanks for your input and participation. As we continue to the east in Petersburg, we are focusing on acquiring land or public access, a key to protecting the river and building the trail. Last year, we worked with state and local partners to begin the acquisition process on the last quarter mile needed to achieve our goal of seven continuous miles of public access from Pocahontas Island in Petersburg to Ferndale Park in Dinwiddie. Let's continue to another site in Petersburg. Do you remember visiting this site with me last year? I showed you our plan for improvements. We are in Petersburg at the new University Boulevard Trailhead, just across the river from Virginia State University in Metric. Now we have a river overlook and a third mile of trail paved to the Battersea Bridges. Thank you to everyone who joined us for the ribbon cutting last fall and for all the partners who made this project happen. And we are pleased to let you know the city of Petersburg has secured funding to keep paving the trail another third mile past the Battersea Bridges and that funding will be available in a couple of years. I'm sure you've been hearing all the buzz about the Fall Line Trail planned from Ashland to Petersburg. Did you know that it'll intersect right here in Petersburg Patton Park? 
In fact, these historic train abutments will be reused for a bicycle pedestrian bridge over the Appomattox River. We don't quite have the funding together yet, but regional partners are working together to make this project a reality. What we do have funding for is improvements at Patton Park. VDOT, Petersburg, Folar, and the Cameron Foundation have partnered to make improvements to the park. A third mile paved trail, new parking, and new fishing area, and we should be breaking ground in later 2022. From here, the trail will wind to the heart of Old Town and Pocahontas Island, and we are wrapping up design plans for that section of trail. Now let's cross the river to Colonial Heights. Back on the north bank of the river and at Rosalind Landing Park, one of our busiest sections of trail. From here, the trail is going to extend another half mile to the east to Jenick Road. This section is fully funded and under design. As we move through Prince George County, we have a challenging section of trail and we are seeking partners to continue the planning process for this area. Before we head to Hopewell, let's talk a little bit about data collection. While we're on the trail, I wanted to show you one of our trail counters. We purchased these in 2019 with funding from the Crater Health District. Every month, a pair of dedicated volunteers visit these counters and gather data. We also partner with Chesterfield County from data from their system. Be sure to check out our annual trail counter report online. We published our first report last year with 2020 data and plan to produce a new report every year. Let's continue moving east into Hopewell. The Appomattox River Trail will transition to being on road with bike lanes and sidewalks. There will be a new network of bike lanes coming to Hopewell in 2022, funded by a VDOT program, and part of that work is the route of the Appomattox River Trail. Phase two of the Riverwalk, connecting all the way from City Park to the Hopewell City Marina, has been funded and under design. But we are taking a pause on the project while important upgrades are taking place at the water plant. We are just as excited as you to get the Riverwalk extended and we will keep you posted on this project. Thank you for joining me for this annual update of the Appomattox River Trail. It was great to share some of my favorite spots along the river. And thank you for your continued partnership. We are so proud that this is truly a grassroots effort. And we believe this is more than just a trail. We believe the Appomattox River Trail is our destination for health and wellness, for economic prosperity, and for environmental conservation. And together, we will make it happen.